Hi everyone, welcome to Stampin' Gala and welcome to Facebook Live. Today we're going to make these really cute little projects that are perfect for Mother's Day or just perfect for gift giving. Even with the school year coming to an end, they're great gifts to give to teachers as well. I'm using the fruit basket and actually are the fruit basket bundles. This is a stamp set and we also have a set of four punches that go with this set. I'm just using the strawberry um, punch today. We also have really pretty paper that has a bunch of different patterns in this that I'll show you just a little bit later. But to start off with, I'm going to show you or talk to you about some specials or some promotions we have going on. First of all, if you haven't heard about my paper crafting cruise, it's um, April 26th, 2019 through May 3rd, 2019 on the Navigator of the Seas with Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. I'm really excited about this. We have a number of people that have already signed up. In fact, we are going to add more cabins into the group. So if you're interested in this, all you have to do is scroll down on the page that you're on after this video, and then you can see, you can actually download this um, information sheet about it. If you have any questions, give, give, give me a call and I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Secondly, I hope that you all notice that um, we have some of our discontinued items that are no longer going to be in the new catalog. Well, they won't be in the new catalog. And some of them have been discounted as much as 50%. So you might want to check that list out. You can find that on my blog at stampingala.com. In fact, this punch pack that I just showed you the four punches is on promotion for 25% off, so you might want to check that out. Um, in addition to that, today is the last day for the paper pumpkin special. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a kit of crafting products that is sent to your door once a month. And it's a surprise. It could be four cards. It could be a home decor item. It could be um, a scrapbooking little project. But it comes to your door and it's a surprise around the middle of the month. And this month, um, well today, is the last day to sign up and you get your first two months 50% off. All you have to do is go to paperpumpkin.com and um, put in your information and also use this code. It's SAVE500418 and you'll get the 50% off. And then he'll ask you who your demonstrator is, and all you have to do is put in Julie Gilson, and I'm in Canton, Michigan, and my zip code is 48188. Now, for those of you that are interested in recreating these projects, as you know, I have always on my blog, as we go live, the project sheets for all three. So all you have to do is save them to your computer or print them off if you like, and it tells you the uh, the sizes, the paper that I use, the products, and the product numbers. So it's there for your convenience. Okay, um, now we're going to go on and do the drawing. We had quite a few people that shared my post. That's all I ask you to do is share the post to be in the drawing. And I do have a special guest here today, um, one of my downline. I'm going to have her come over and around the table and pull a couple of these names. The first one is going to get the Flying Home stamp set. So go ahead, Barb, pull one out. Watch her pull her own name. Okay, it's Joey Lentini. Don't go anywhere, Barb. I have to have you pull another one. Okay, the next one is going to get this beautiful pack of paper, and it's, it's our Petal Garden 6x6 DSP. And go ahead, Barb, pull another one. Okay, and this is for Debbie Palmer. So, Debbie, I don't have your address, so if you can send me your address through Facebook, I'll be happy to get this out to you. Okay, so that's it for the door prizes today. We're going to move on to the projects now. All right, I think we'll make this one first. And let me get these out of the way. All right, so this is kind of a fun fold card. That, that's what it looks like on the inside. And we're using, again, the fruit basket bundle. 
And as you can see, I have also some die cuts on there. Let me show you where they're at. The circle punches that I'm going to use are on page 207. And the framelits, the layering circle framelits, and also the stitch shapes are on page 214. In addition to that, I'm using the Fruit Basket Bundle, and it's found in our Occasions catalog, and that is on page 29. And this whole suite is being discontinued, so if you like this, you might want to get it pretty quickly. Now remember, anyone who places a minimum $30 order from now until Monday using this host code will get all three make and takes from me. All right, so let's get started. Some of the stuff I did offline to make it easy. Okay, so first of all, we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is cut at eight and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I scored it at two and three quarters. You could also, if it was, it's also, you can um, score it at five and a half, and it just, you would just have to flip it around, okay? Um, I'm going to bring in two pieces of cardstock. We have a piece of, um, real red cardstock that is cut five and a quarter by four and a piece of whisper white that I ran through the big shot ahead of time. This is five by three and three quarters. I forgot the name of this and it's on my um, project sheet. So it was one of the items that was available as a free item for um, celebration, but it is being brought into the line as well. I really like this one a lot. Okay, and then we'll just snail this down for the inside of the card. We're working on the inside first, and you'll see why in just a little bit. All right, so now what we're going to do is I have already ran this through the big shot with the layering circle dies. I also ran the whisper white through with the stitch shapes framelits and then I punched a piece of red cardstock with the two and a half um, inch circle die, uh, circle punch. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and pierce mat and we're going to stamp a couple of strawberries. in real red. So we're going to stamp this right here and another one off to the side. The top of the strawberry is stamped in lemon lime twist and it just fits right in here. Okay, so there we go on that. I'm going to snail these two together. And then on the navy, knight and navy, they are keeping the knight and navy as well in the new line. And the reason I put this on the inside of the card is because you can't write a message on here. You have to have something smooth to write on. Now we're going to center this right in the inside of the card. Looks pretty good. So it's going to go just like that. All right. We'll bring these two pieces in. And I'm snailing a piece of DSP from the Tutti Fruity DSP pack onto real red. I'm sorry, I haven't even looked at my messages yet. Let me just say a hello to everybody. I don't 
can't see it on my iPad, but I have a couple of guests here, and they see it, so that's good. Okay, so we snail that on the front panel. Now what we're going to do is add some ribbon. I absolutely love this ribbon. It's our navy gingham. And we're going to tie a bow right on here. I love the way this ribbon um, is good for bow tying. I like how it makes it real like fluffy. <laughs> the navy is staying, but there is a, um, I think it's this smoky slate is going. So if you like this ribbon and you like gray, you might want to get that purchased right away because when that's gone, it's gone. Okay. So there you go. There's the front. Now we're going to go ahead and complete the rest of the card. So first of all, I'm going to bring in these three pieces right here. And we're going to do some stamping on here as well as we're going to stamp the um, bowl on here. So we're using Night and Navy for that. And we're going to fussy cut that out. stamp this on here and it's really easy to cut out because it's pretty straight lines. Good thing I'm cutting it out because I have I made a mess right there. Okay and remember you don't want to cut all the way up. You want to leave a white little border. It always looks better that way. And you turn the paper not the not the scissors. Okay, so we have this done. That was pretty easy. All right, so now what we're going to do is bring this back in, and I'm just going to place this here to see where I'm going to put this. Okay, so we're going to stamp a couple of strawberries, but before I do that, let me grab the ink, and I'm just kind of eyeballing this. So what I'm going to do is place this and then move that out of the way so I can see where it's going. All right, this one I'm going to go a little bit lower, so I'm just going to move it out of the way and then stamp. And then this one will be just on top. Okay? Lemon lime twist. Place these on here. I don't even know what these are called, really. By the way, if you have a question, just ask um, and put it in capitals. And that way, after I can check it out and see, it's easier for me to see if there's some capitals. If they're in capitals. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp a couple of strawberries on a piece of scrap paper. I did do some ahead of time, but I just want to show you how they're done because we're going to use the punch as well. So, and the, the punch makes the strawberries a little bit smaller. And you want to stamp closer to the bottom because where the punch is positioned, it won't, the punch won't slide up all the way. It won't fit in there if it's too high up. For some reason, my, my comments aren't coming on my iPad. Okay, so what we're going to do is just punch these out and just put the punch right up in there and see how it leaves that little border. But the whole strawberry is, is um, solid then. It doesn't have a white border at all. That strawberry flew somewhere. Good thing I have enough. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. So, let me get 
since I have this out, let's do the other stamping. I'm going to stamp here the sweetest on here in navy. And then I'm going to show you a little trick with a punch. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So getting back to the card. Now what we're going to do is put this together. Remember this was punched out with a two and a half inch circle punch. I think it looks better. Let me just show you. If I didn't have that blue in there, this is how it would look. But if I add the blue, it just gives it a little bit of, a little extra, that's all. So now this is going to go up on dimensionals. And I hope you all don't throw out the sides of your dimensionals. I use them all up. We're almost done with this card. Okay, so down. And as you can see, I made a boo-boo right there, but we're going to cover that up just like that. <laughs> Nobody will ever know. I think Kathy just asked a question about how long do you, um, stamps last? Um, and if you're not using a reinker, just go ahead and reink it. But if you are, just make sure you're closing the cap tight, tightly because that could be it. It, it just depends on the, how much you're using it. But mine seems to last a long time, and I have a lot of people taking classes from me. If you feel it's not um, lasting as long as it should, just give Stampin' Up! a call or let me know if you purchased it from me and I'd be happy to get you a new one. Okay, so we're going to take some of these little strawberries that I punched out and we're just going to tuck them in to our little bowl here. And just do them randomly. Now when I switch to the mini dimensionals because it's easier. want to flip over. Isn't that cute? And we'll just add one on the side. Right here. And one hanging over the side. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just Add some more dimensionals on the back, but I do want to let you know, when we place this on here, you're going to center it right over this blue. That's why we want I wanted you to do the inside first, because if we had this pushed over and this wasn't, it wasn't centered, it looked really funny. So, now what we're going to do is put the dimensionals just on this side. Otherwise, your card will stick closed. Ladies, thank you so much um, for supporting me in my business. I, before I um, signed on today, I saw that there were a couple online orders, and I do want you to know how much I appreciate you. Okay. Now, I'm bringing you back to this. And remember this punch here, this is going to be carried over as well. This was in um, the suite with all the mail products. I can't even remember the name of it. I used to know them all by heart, but I don't do that anymore. So we're going to push this in here and just 
make a banner on the end. Okay, we'll cut this off. And then I also have a red one. And these are just half inch by about three, three and a half inches. Really, I don't really measure them. Just the half inch. Okay. So now what we're going to do is curl these a little bit with the bone folder. The end is going to go up like this, and then the other side is going to go down like that. Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to just stick these two together. All I'm going to do is put some snail on the back of here. There you go. Just like that. Now I'm going to put them see, put a couple of blue dots. I'm going to slide it under. Oops, I'm going to cut it off some. It's too long. Some more blue dots. Okay, so there you go. There's your first project. I hope you like this. Anyway, I just love this ribbon with the red. I think it looks like summer. So there you go. There's the first projects. Let me get this cleaned up and we'll move on to the second one. The second one we're going to do is this little cutie right here. This, I'm doing a strawberry theme today if you haven't figured it out. Well, thanks so much for the hearts. I really appreciate it. So what, how this works is you can see there's like a little hole punched in there. And then all you do is pull this up and a strawberry breakfast bar comes out. And I think any teacher would appreciate this in her desk um, for when she gets a little hungry during the day. I think this is a cute little gift for her. So anyway, let me bring this in. And I need my scoreboard. And I'm also going to need my cheat sheet. Oops. This is a piece of real red cardstock, and it's cut six by six. And let me get this up here. Okay, so how I'm going to score this. I'm going to score it at three quarters of an inch, also at two and three quarters, three and a half, and five and a half. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score it at five and a quarter. Okay, so the sides right here, let me just show you, the sides are three quarters of an inch right there. The front and back is two inches. The bottom is three quarters of an inch this way, two inches that way. So it's really easy to figure out. Once you know how to um, do a box, you can do make a box for anything. All right. So what we're going to do is fold on all score lines. This weekend is Mother's Day. I hope that all of you have some fun plans and don't have to cook. <laughs> anyway, all right, so your paper should look something like this. What I'm going to do is take this little square out right here. So I'm going to cut up on the score line and kind of angle it just like that. All right, and then these I'm going to cut off up to the intersecting score line, all right? Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some tear and tape right on there. Remember my trick from last time, I put it on like a bracelet and it's easier to control. Put this all the way down. Could have just torn that off like that. off 
And because it's um, the same on both sides, all you have to do is fold this over, just like that. All right, so this is going to be the backs since um, the seam comes back there. So what you're going to do is fold the insides in for the sides in first. You'll fold the back towards the front, and the front towards the back goes last. So we're going to put some tear and tape on there. Believe it or not, we're almost done with this project. It doesn't take long. Okay. Just close that up, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a three quarters of an inch punch, and if you notice, it's punched through that as well. But um, I have to let me grab a piece of post-it pad. Sorry about that, but I want to show you this little trick. I'm going to just punch a little piece of post-it note out right there. And if you put this where you want the hole to be, just like center it on there, just like move it over just a tad, right there, okay? Then you take your punch and you just punch, and then you get it right where it needs to be. So I'll do the same post-it on the back, put this right in the center, I'm just eyeballing it, and then punch this out. So there you have that. Now what I'm going to do is bring in these two pieces of uh, cardstock and DSP, snail these two together. And I just have an eighth of an inch clearance on these two. I think it looks better. But I have a quarter of an inch on the box when I place this on the box. Okay, now we want to make sure we get it on the front. So this is the back, so we're going to put this on in the front. Make sure you have the strawberries going the right side up. All right, now I'm going to just put this punch back in, and I'm just looking for the navy blue, and I'm going to punch it again. I think I have it on lock. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to show you how you put this in here. I'm going to take this one out. And what we're going to do is just put the ribbon on the candy like that, or breakfast bar. Push that through, and then we'll cut some of this off. Feed this through the back. And then we'll tie it in a bow. I know I promised you guys a, a bow tutorial, and I promise I'll get to that very soon. Have a lot of people asking me about it again. Okay, so then it, you pull up on it like that and the candy comes out. All right, now bring these three pieces in and we're going to do some more stamping. So let me show you. I took the two and the from, those are actually two separate stamps, and I put them on the same block. So what we're going to do is stamp in Night and Navy. I think I should probably should get my board here. Am 
out perfectly. Smear these together. Okay, I'm going to take my punch here, punch a little hole in there. Add some white baker's twine. Add some dimensionals on the back of here. Janine, I wanted to tell you, too, that I did mail your um, door prize. I know you had a question about where you live, so I did send it to you. I didn't think it was fair not to. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add some strawberries. We'll just add some with snail. Slide it under, just like that. Now we're going to bring in the little treat thing, hearts. And tie it on. You can't actually, you can't put a glue dot or anything to make it stay because then you can't pull the ribbon off to get your candy out. Turn that off. And there's your second project. So, so far we have these two. All right, so moving on, we're going to do the third project. And let me show you what we're doing here. This one, I'm going to pull this off and show you what's inside. It's a strawberry, um, actually strawberry cheesecake lint um, chocolate bar. But what is really cool about this box, let me get it back on, you can have it any size. As long as you make um, the bottom part a little bit longer, then you can just adjust this to whatever you want it to be. Okay? And I purposely made a, it with a little longer so you can add different things in here. Another, um, going back to this one, you can actually put Twizzlers in here, and that's a, another cute thing for this. All right, so let me bring this in. And one of the pieces I did offline for this. Okay, we're going to do the bottom one first. Let me bring my cheat sheets in. Okay, so for the bottom, the um, red cardstock, it's four and three quarters by five and a half. And on the short side, you're going to score it at, let me see, one, two and an eight, three and eight, four and a quarter, and five and a half. And then you're going to turn it and score it at um, four and a half. Okay, so we're going to fold on all these score lines. And again, you don't even have to write these down. You can just go to my blog at stampingala.com and get them. They're there for you now. Also, don't forget, by Monday, um, all you have to do is place a minimum $30 order before shipping and tax, and you'll get these free in the mail from me. So I just cut, cut out that bottom rectangle, and we're going to Cut up on all score lines up to the intersection. These are really simple. Okay, bring in the tear and tape. Um, yes, this paper, the Tutti Fruity, is still available, but 
like I said, it's being discontinued. So you might want to get it right away. I believe it's $10 for the pack. And I'll show you. I'll show you all the patterns in that pack. Fold it over. And there you go on that. So we're going to, again, put the sides in first. The back goes third. And then finally the, the front goes to the back. And we're going to put a piece of tear and tape to hold that down. I think that um, this paper is my absolute favorite for spring and summer. I wish they were folding it over, but they never do with paper. Okay, so you're going to put that on like that, okay? Now we're going to do the DSP, so we're going to do the top portion. Let me bring in my score. Now you, one thing about this, you got to make sure that you have the strawberries going in the right direction when you cut. Okay, so this is four and three quarters. Wait a minute, no, it's five. Five by five and three eighths. So with the five on the top, what you're gonna do is score it at one and an eighth, two and a fourth, two and a quarter, three and three eighths, and four and a half. Now, this is going to be the top, so it's closed at the top and open at the bottom. So make sure when you turn it, it's turned this direction, and you're going to score on the top at four and a half. Just like that. Okay? That's all the scoring we're going to do. And basically, this is the same thing that we did with the real red. Now, if it was just plain paper or the, the um, pattern didn't matter which direction it was in, then it wouldn't matter. But since this is does have a right side up being like this, this on the top is where you're going to score the second side. Okay. So we're going to take that corner out again. and then cut on all the score lines. I've been buying special surprises for the cruise, and um, so far I had to buy 71 of something. <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I just can't tell everybody what I'm doing. Got to have some surprises. So I put the tear and tape on here. I'm going to fold this over just like that. And again, I'm going to put the sides in, the back, and then the front. So again, we're going to put the tear and tape on the last piece. And I'll show you the paper in just a second, all the different patterns that come in that set. I've made some really cute things with it this year. If you remember my apron set a few weeks ago, that was really popular. Okay, so now it's going to go on just like this. Okay. <laughs> You're right, it would make a cute toothbrush folder. Now I'm going to take this off a second and I'm going to put, I'm just going to hold it down like that and I'm going to put a piece of snail on that side and a piece of snail on this side. And it, Oh, it's sticking. And why I did that is so that, there you go, so when I put the ribbon on it, it will stay in place. I should have had a silicone mat down first. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so see, I'm going to wrap it like that and it's going to come around to the front. I'm just going to cut this off.
Oh, one thing I want everybody's suggestion on, I love making projects and I tend to do more feminine type projects. So if you guys could just let me know if you like children's projects uh, or projects for males, females, um, any special occasion like graduation, baby showers, wedding showers, things like that. If you can just put them in the comments, something that you would like to see, I can design that for you. Uh, yes, um, you could emboss the, um, Ruth I think is asking that, you can do that. You can emboss the bottom and for extra texture. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just take a piece of, let me see if mine was blue. <laughs> okay, I just punched the little um, flag on the end of the blue, navy blue, and now I'm going to stamp, you're the sweetest again. going to curl this up again. Same with this. And turn some of this off. It doesn't have to be perfect, believe it or not. Put some snail on here. Oh my goodness, I guess. <laughs> I guess I opened up a can of worms, didn't I? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to put this on here. I'm going to actually put some blue dots on it. Let me see. <laughs> Stephanie, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Slide this right under. And then we're going to take an extra strawberry that I um, already did. Add a dimensional, and we're just going to put the strawberry on there, okay? So here are your projects today. So we have this, and this little treat box, and then the card, okay? Does anybody have any questions at all? Um, I hope you really like these projects today and just um, remember to place your orders by Monday with this host code so I can I can send you the products if you don't use that um, and also if you elect on your order if you put that you don't need to be contacted then I don't know who to send the make and takes to so please don't do that just um, just ignore that box don't check that box anyway I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.